Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video and today we're taking a look at the album preview, the fake version for Vivis's upcoming fourth minute album, Versus. As always, when it comes to the comeback, we'll be starting here, looking at where we are on the time scale. So far, we've had the announcement, the pre-orders, which I've not made mine yet. I was going to make them over the weekend, but a couple of all, one of the one of the albums I wanted to get from someone else has sold out on K Town for you. So it's like, do I wait and get a restock, or do I get everything else? Anyway, that's a me problem. We're here today for the album preview fake version. Next week we have an album preview fate version. So I've been saying that I'm thinking we're getting maybe two styles and tones for this album and maybe if it's a usual mini album it's like what six tracks usually five or six tracks three of them might be in this fake version sound and the other might be in a, a faked version sound don't know so we get that today we get the track list um in two more days so it's weird that we're getting an album preview but we don't know what the tracks are going to be called is that right i think that's right maybe yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see so new tab on the uh on the vivis twit twit what do we call it x page x page now so let's see is it this it? Da, da, da. Yes. Okay. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, 218. 218. Right. Let's just check. Of course I'm in. Right. Let's go. Bump you up. Okay. We'll let it run through and then we'll go through it again after. Ah, yeah, okay. So we're not getting anything. Hmm. Are we getting no? Is this all instrumental? Oh, okay. I get it now. Oh. Oh. There's a little bit of vocals in the background. Hmm? Strings, piano, G friend. Hmm? Hmm. Ooh. Bit of lounge music. Yes. Bit of rock now. Yeah. Nice bit of chunky guitar. Oh. Oh. Synthwave City Pop. We've got to have that. Vivis have had that all the way through from the beginning. It's like Gran Turismo. Oh, wait, well, it was. Oh, we're gonna get my lounge jazz. I'm digging this though. I'm digging. I'm digging just an instrumental teaser. That's new. That's new. Oh, wait. So there's five. Yeah. I see that these uh, crystals are degrading. Degrading. Melting. <laughs> Anything else? Anything else? I do like this. I do like this uh, this style with the uh, sort of... Um, God, my mind's gone blank today. I'm having a stroke. It's got the nice printed texture look. And then we've got the nice gradation with the sort of... Uh, yeah. Words, words are failing me today. I've, uh, I've not had much sleep today, guys. I've had like... Four and a half hours. I'm I'm running on <laughs> two cans of Monster and a bloody Frappuccino in the morning. So um, it's, a, it's a it's a long day. Anyway, right. 
I was wrong. <laughs> I was clearly very wrong. I thought we were getting two different styles from the girls, like two different concepts. We haven't seen any like visual concepts yet. But because of the name of the Fate and Fake, uh, Fake and Fate even, I told you the other day I'm going to get them mixed up, and I am constantly. I thought we are going to be getting similar to what we have before, where you get like a an angelic look, and then you get like a, a darker look. You know, you get that from some groups, mostly Dreamcatcher. You get a couple of their standard gothy rock girl looks, and then you'll get one angelic look. I thought we were going to get something like that from Viviz. If it's anything like the girl, what the girls wore on stage yesterday, bring it on. Bring it on. Una with the sexy cute. As always, looking amazing and then adorable with her little little hat with ears on, which seems to be a, a running theme this year on stage. Little hats for Una with ears on. It's like, bring it, bring it on, bring it on, lay that, lay that on me all day. Let's go through this again because we have a lot of different sounds. Some really cool sounds, but then some sounds which feel like a Viviz style choice at this moment. And let's try and pick, because these are just numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We don't even know if this is the true order yet. So let's try and think of what sounds like it could be a title track. Degradating. I'm trying to think of that word. <laughs> it's almost there. My mind's gone to shit. I kind of like the sort of... It's like a bit of a dreamscape, this one. Like you get a bit of a lots of echo, but sort of it feels like a a noise that's filling a room, sort of an echo that's sort of refracting, refracting around. Oi, oi! Have you shit your pants? It's shit his pants. Look, let's let's totally refresh it. You useless thing. It's almost like a bit of a bird chirp in the background. There's something. It's not a bird chirp, but there's something there. Feels like an intro music, rather than... There's, we only got a little glimpse, but it feels like it's an intro sound. Maybe a little bit of vocals, but it feels like intro music. Digging this though. Like this funk. This has got a cool sound. It almost feels like a darker version of Pull Up because that had like a bit of a cool bit of funk going on. But this just sort of the deeper bass and roundness to all the music. Like you could imagine a proper girl crush look. Blacks, leathers, maybe bits of red sort of highlights. Maybe that's just me. But it's cool. Yeah, maybe this is title tracky. I'm going to say that about all the rest of them now, I? probably. This just feels classic G-friendly sound. That kind of chilled strings, soft. Yeah, like that sort of soft lounge music style. I dig that, I dig that. I'd kind of like if this were the title track. It would be nice for the girls to do something that is a little bit rocky. We've had... Stop hitting that. Uh, we've had a lot of synth-wavy, uh, city-poppy sounds in the B-side tracks since Vivi's started, which seems to be like one of their favourite flavours to play with. And it would be nice if they did that for a title track. So I'm going with two, two or four of my choices for possible title tracks. Because it's just got a little bit of, a little bit of Mago-y disco-ness, bop-bop disco-ness. Bit of a guitar, you know, hacking back to some of G-Fred. G-Fred had some sweet-ass guitar solos going on. You might think they were all innocent-sounding pop songs, but they had some sweet-ass 
guitar solos going on in there, so I'm going to hedge my bets now. Unless the Fate versions are four, four completely different tracks, which would then make it a full album, so probably not. Okay, okay. Think, Christopher. Think. I'm going with this. I'm going with track four. Track four for me feels like it might be the title track. Because they've not got names, it's just a number four. We don't know what order they're running in, so. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. And then another softy ballady type sound. Like a ballad mixed up with a weird classical elements broken down with a bit of a R&B vibe hmm <laughs> well that was a surprise and a lot different to what I thought we were going to get like I said I thought we were going to get a couple of tracks in a style that fits this fake fake concept and then one in this fate concept as we saw with the artwork somewhat artwork for the albums because it's not been properly released but the sort of colorways and things we were getting you had this dark style with the with sort of amber and blue and a bit of teal and then we had the other one which was more of a purpley blue bits of white and a love hat but it was made out of uh made out of uh my mind is blank today <laughs> absolute black there's nothing going on there's just a hamster asleep at the wheel in my brain today yeah it's gone it's gone it's gone. Anyway, sound-wise, very intriguing. I do like this concept of just showing the instrumentals. It's a great way to tease because it's not just trying to pick 10, 15 seconds of pieces of music and then try not to give too much away. Now they can layer it up. The next time we hear it, we'll hear it with some vocals on there. And then the time after that, we'll hear it in a different piece when we get the music video teaser. I like it. I like it. Very intrigued. Very intrigued. So I will be back next in two days with a track title list. And then next week is the big week where we get concept photos one and two, the album preview, the fate version, concept photos three and four. Then Vivi's Fate. Where we started with Vivi's Fake with a fake interview with the girls, which I thought was one concept, the girls sort of being different versions of themselves each other each other and then the other we'll see we'll see what's going on i clearly need to sleep my mind is melting night night guys night night sleep well